Hello students, my name is Sanjay Jain. Today we will start a new chapter, Probability. Now this chapter is really, really important because you will study this chapter in class 10th, class 11th, some part of it you will study in class 11th and also in class 12th. And even if you keep the mathematics as your subject after that, it, this particular topic will be really, really useful after that also. Another thing about probability is that it is part of our general life. We talk about it every day, right? We, when we are, let us say, waiting at a railway platform for a particular train, then we, we will assume what kind of chances are there that this train will be late today, right? Now, how do we calculate those chances mathematically is what probability is all about, right? So, we say that this particular train may be late today, right? Depending on our experience with that train, because the 10 last times it was late, so we assume that the chances are that this train will be late today, okay? In other fields also, let us say, what is the chance that it will rain today? Now, it depends whether in last year on, the, on this date it rained or not, or before that, right? So, Keeping the earlier trend in mind, we say that the chances are that it will rain today or not, right? So, these chances when calculated mathematically are known as probability. So, the chances of occurrence of an event calculated mathematically is the probability. Now, the probability can be of broadly two types. One, experimental probability. This is what we will talk about in class 9th. Another type of probability can be theoretical probability which we will talk about in higher classes. Experimental probability is also known as empirical probability. Right? Now, what is experimental or empirical probability? Let us say you toss a coin. Right? What are the possible outcomes? either it will show you a head or tail, right? So, if you toss the coin 10 times, how many times will it show head? Let us say you toss a coin 10 times, okay? It showed 4 times head on top and 6 times tail on top, right? Another student tossed a coin, let us say 20 times, it showed 9 times head on top and 11 times tail on top, right? Now, what will this student think that out of 10 times, 4 times I got head, right? So, chances of head coming on top are 4 divided by 10. What is 4? 4 is the event that we are calculating our probability for. Okay? So, we are calculating the probability or chances of head coming on top. So, we will say 4 times it came head and I tossed the coin 10 times. So, 4 out of 10 are the chances that head will come on top and 6 out of 10 are the chances that tail will come on top. Now, this student will say 9 out of 20 are the chances that head will come on top, 11 out of 20 are the chances that tail come on top. Now, these two answers are different, right, of head coming on top. Why are they different? Because first that these are two different students, two different situations, okay. And this student tossed the coins 10 times, this student tossed the coins 20 times. Now, if there is some other student who tosses the coin 100 times, he might get 49 times, let us say, heads 
and 51 times tail on top okay now as you increase the number of times you perform this experiment okay this is an experiment that you are performing of tossing a coin and the results possible results are either head will come or tail will come right now out of those possible results if you increase the number of times you perform this experiment let us say you perform this 1000 times or 10000 times you will observe that the chances are coming closer to half chances are coming closer to 1 by 2 okay so this is about experimental probability that everybody who is performing the experiment might get a different answer but as you perform the experiment more number of times the result will come closer to a particular number particular chance okay and in this case when we have got two events or two outcomes two outcomes are there either a head can come or tail can come right in this case the chances are that the head will come one by two times one out of two times and tail will come one out of two times this is what we call probability so probability of this event what event in case of head i will write probability of head is 1 by 2 and in case of tail i will say probability of tail is 1 by 2 right so this is true in case of when you throw a dice when you throw a die there are six possible outcomes right there are six possible outcomes either one can come two three four five or six now what is the chance that one will come when you throw a die the chances are now you will perform experiment to calculate these chances right so if you throw a die hundred times right and one comes on top let us say five times now when you increase the number of throws or number of times you perform the experiment the one will come on top one out of six times the results of your experiment will come closer to one out of six times let us say you throw it 60 times or 600 times let us say 100 times one will come on top right so as you increase the number of experiments the probability or the chance will come closer to 1 by 6 because there are six outcomes and we are looking for one of these and the die is symmetric all around right it is not biased because of its structure it will not favor a particular outcome right similar is the case with this coin which is an unbiased coin unbiased coin what do you mean by unbiased coin that because of its shape it will not favor a particular outcome right it may fall on either side and the shape of coin will not bias the results okay so this is about experimental probability that probability of an event probability of an event is number of times the event occurred divided by total number of times the experiment was performed right let us say you throw a coin 50 times okay out of these 50 times you got 24 times head on top and 26 times tail on top now what will you say probability of head 
coming on top in the 51st toss okay you know that out of last 50 times that you tossed the coin 24 times it was head that came on top and 26 times it was tail that came on top now when you are performing this experiment 51st time what will be the probability that head comes on top depending on your experience of these 50 experiments you will say that 24 out of 50 times head comes on top so 24 out of 50 will be the probability of head coming on top okay this is how you will think about experimental or empirical probability right now it is not the exact probability or exact uh, calculation of probability it is based on the experimental results and it can be different for different students different in different situations right so but in class 9th we will talk about experimental probability only then in class 10th or in higher classes we will talk about theoretical probability and we will be really really precise as we progress in our classes about the calculation of probability now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. Now, let us see some of the examples here. A coin is tossed thousand times with the following frequencies. Out of these thousand times that a coin is tossed, 455 times head came on top and 545 times tail came on top. Calculate the probability of each event. So, probability of head coming on top. What are events? Head is an event and tail on top is another event. So, probability of head coming on top is equal to number of times the event occurred 450 times divided by number of times the experiment was performed 1000 times. Right? So, it will be equal to 0.455. This is the probability of head coming on top. Now, you observe that in the numerator, you will always have a number which is out of this denominator. Let us say you are performing an experiment 100 times. So, the event can occur maximum 100 times. Right? The event for which you are calculating the probability can occur maximum 100 number of times or minimum 0 number of times. Let us say you throw a coin 10 times and head comes 0 number of times or the maximum number of times head can come is 10. Right? So, this number in the numerator will always be lesser than or equal to the denominator. If I write this as this, this is numerator, it will always be lesser than or equal to denominator right now this tells me that this number will always be lesser than or equal to 1 this number that is probability of an event will always be lesser than or equal to 1 okay because the numerator maximum it can become equal to denominator and minimum it can be 0 so the probability of an event can be minimum 0 and maximum 1 otherwise it will be between 0 and 1 now in this case it is 0 0.455 and probability of tail coming on top is equal to number of times the event occurred 
or number of times the tail showed on top is 545 and what is the total number of times the experiment was performed 1000 so the probability is 0 0.545 right and if somebody says the probability of an event is let us say 1.3 okay then you stop him because this statement is wrong probability can not can never be greater than 1 okay or if somebody says the probability of something occurring is negative 0 0.5 this is also not possible right so probability being 1.3 or negative 0 0.5 doesn't make sense probability will always be between 0 and 1 now two coins are tossed simultaneously 500 times when you toss two coins simultaneously what are the results that you can get let us say this coin can show head or tail on top this coin can show head or tail on top right so what are the possible combination that the first coin let us say this is first this is second one first shows head second also shows head one of the outcomes can be first shows head second shows tail on top and first shows tail second shows head first coin shows tail and second coin also shows tail on top so these are the possible outcomes or the events for which we will calculate the probabilities now two heads out of 500 times we get two heads 100 and 105 times so this event occurs 105 times okay so what is the probability of this event probability of two heads is equal to number of times the event occurred that is 105 and total number of times the experiment was performed will be in the denominator so this is the probability of two heads coming on top that is this event okay now you can simplify this further you can write it as 100 here and 21 here and then 0 0.5 one is the probability of two heads coming on top okay now one head on top that means this outcome and this outcome because in both of these there is one head right when we toss two coins simultaneously we are looking at the top faces of both the coins right now on one of the coins there is head on the other coin there is tail right or on the first coin there is tail on the second coin there is head now this can occur 275 times so probability of one head is equal to 275 by 500 why because 275 is the number of times the event occurred and 500 is the total number of times the experiment was performed so this will give you Eleven by twenty. Twenty-five into eleven is two seventy-five. Twenty-five into twenty is five hundred. So the probability of getting one head on top is eleven by twenty. And if we want to convert it into decimals, we can write it as zero point five five because eleven by two is five point five. And then when you divide it by ten, it will become 0.55 so this is the probability of one head now probability of no head probability of no head which means that on both the coins we have tail on top right so such an event can occur now this question you can answer by writing 120 in the numerator and 500 in the denominator because 120 is the number of times this event occurred and 500 is the number of times the experiment was performed so this will be so 12 by 5 you calculate separately it will be 2.4 right and then divide it by 10 so the probability will be 0 
4 ok see either two heads can come either one head can come or no head can come right these are the only possible outcomes that can occur that can show when you toss two coins so their probability if you add all these probability because this is what can happen when you throw two coins together so when you add these probability you will see that this result will be equal to 1 0 0.21 and 0 0.24 collectively is 0 0.45 0 0.45 plus 0 0.55 is 1 now what does it show that when you add these probabilities these three it will be equal to 1 it means it is certain that something out of this will happen when you throw two coins together either two heads will come or one head will come or no head will come right so the total probability or the sum of these probabilities is 1 now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. A die is thrown thousand times with the frequencies for the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are given in the following table. So, 1 occurred 179 times, 2 came on top 150 times, 3 came on top 157 times and so on. Find the probability of getting each outcome. Probability of 1 on top. Right? Probability that the die will show 1 on top is equal to number of times this event occurred. 179 times and total number of times the experiment was performed is 1000. So, we will divide it by 1000 and the probability of 1 coming on top is 0 0.179. Right? Similarly, we can talk about 2 on top. So, number of times 2 came on top out of these 1000 times we threw the die is 150. So, 150 by 1000. 0 0.15 is the probability. Probability of 3 on top is equal to 157 times it came on tops out of 1000 times the experiment was performed. So, the probability of 3 coming on top is 0 0.157 and you need to keep in mind that the these probabilities that we are calculating are experimental probabilities. These depend on the outcomes that we achieved while performing the experiment. Right? So, these are the frequencies of 1 coming on top out of these 1000 throws. Right? So, if somebody asks you in general that what is the probability if I throw a die that 1 will come on top, you will not say it is 0 0.179 this is the experimental probability when this experiment was actually performed thousand times right and let me remind you if you perform it ten thousand times this might change when you perform it one lakh times this will further change right in the higher classes you will study that probability of each one of them will be equal if the die is 
unbiased or symmetric all around right it is not defected so the probability will come around 1 by 6 for each of these outcomes but now we are talking about experimental probability so we'll have to go by the results of these experiments so probability of 4 on top is equal to 149 which is the number of times it came on top out of those thousand throws divided by 1000 so it will be 0 0.149 probability of 5 on top will be 175 divided by total 1000 0 0.175 probability of 6 on top will be equal to 190 divided by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.19 and these are the probabilities right okay so these are the experimental or empirical probabilities of these outcomes or events right on one page of a telephone directory there were 200 telephone numbers the frequency distribution of their unit place digit for example in this number 3 is at the units place right now frequencies mean that out of these 200 telephone numbers the digit 0 is at units place for 22 numbers in 26 numbers out of these 200 one is at units place similarly in 28 numbers out of these 200 telephone numbers seven was at the units place so these facts are given without looking at the page a pencil is placed on one of these numbers the number is chosen at random what is the probability that the digit in its units place is six right so out of these numbers without looking at them you place a pencil what is the probability that the digit in its units place is six now how many times that event will occur when you keep placing your pencil how many times that event occurred out of 200 telephone numbers there were 14 times there was six at the units place okay so 14 is the frequency of the event occurring so probability of 6 at units place will be 14 which is the number of times 6 is there out of these 200 numbers at units place divided by what 200 because this is the total number of telephone numbers that we are including in this particular experiment right so 14 by 200 is the probability which is experimental probability and is based on this particular data okay so it will be equal to 7 by 100 that is 0 0.07 okay now if i ask you you again perform this experiment and what is the probability of 3 appearing at the units place you will say there are 22 times 3 appeared at the units place out of these 200 experiments or out of these 200 telephone numbers that we are considering so probability of 3 at units place will be 22 divided by total 200 that is 11 by 100 and it is equal to 0 0.11 okay this is how we can think about this and why is it given that number is chosen at random so that we are not favoring a particular outcome right if i look at these numbers and i put my pen i can put my pen on any number i desire right then the experiment will be biased okay i may be biased towards a particular number okay now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at Rs. 1 per day only.
Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.